Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and another speed build for you all today. Today we are doing the third part of the Windenburg Manor. So I really hope that you guys will enjoy this one. I know that I have already enjoyed it because I have been watching it for the past seven and a half minutes already because this is my second time recording this. So this is absolutely great. I recorded it and then the audio didn't work properly so here I am filming it again for you all and I hope that's okay but what I wanted to talk about today was a little bit of an update on my test week from hell which happened last week and so I have got the results back for more or less all of my tests now that I did last week I've got the results back for drama which I had back ages ago I have the results back for both of the English ones, I have the results back for the maths one, so I'm just waiting for the results on the media one, which I'm hoping to get tomorrow, but I might not. So, let me start off with the drama one, because that was first, and I got it back the, like, longest ago, so I might have spoken about this before, but I got full marks on my drama one, which was really good, I'm very happy with that. It was an easy enough test though, so it was quite easy to get all of the marks, but I was very happy with it nonetheless because I hadn't really revised for it because I had forgotten that it even existed, so that was a little bit of an issue, but hey-ho, it's fine. We're all good here, um, here with me and my little testing madness, but that is another thing that was good this week was drama. I am just going to speak about drama a little bit because we did some really fun stuff this week. We did some prelim prep on Monday, but it was nice. It was fine. It was just really, really enjoyable. And then today we did some improv so we kind of had to well we got a stimulus which was make a christmas drama it had to be a play it had to have a flashback and it had to do something else so i we did that and i was working with jimmy justin and billy and then someone else in our drama called oliver if um you've heard of prob you've probably heard of jimmy justin and billy before because they've been on my channel before but you will have heard of oliver before because he's not been on my channel so i did that with them today and that was really fun we kidnapped santa and we interrogated him because he put us all on the naughty list because we threw snowballs at Mrs. Jenkins' cat. <laughs> Which was quite funny. That was a really great idea by, I think it was Jimmy. I think Jimmy came up with that one. If not, I think it was Billy. We originally were going to go for the idea... Oh, it had to be a comedy as well. We were originally going to go with the idea of a comedic version of the World War truce. The football truce. But then we thought of the other idea and we thought that it was better than the first idea of the comedic take on the world war truce for football so that is what we did today in drama and then on friday i don't really know what we're going to be doing it's probably just going to be games or watching a film or something i don't know because it's the last day so we don't really want to be doing very much but that is what we did today and on monday so it's been really fun i've really enjoyed that and so going on to maths because the maths test was next i got that back on well yesterday which was tuesday and so i got 31 out of 32 which i was so so happy with i really didn't expect to get a good mark on this test i honestly thought i was gonna get at least seven marks off but I only got one mark off, so I was so, so happy with that. Um, it's the best I've ever done in a maths test in this year, to be honest with you. Because, yeah, I think at this school year, this is the best test that I have done. So I'm really, really happy with that. And that is great to think just before we go into our prelims, which we are going to find out about tomorrow. We're going to get the a draft of the prelim timetable so that'll be great or the january assessment windows our school is calling it because it's not really a prelim because there's no exams at the end 
but that's also really good. I'm really, really happy that I got 31. I, I honestly, I just genuinely was so shocked when I got that score because I honestly thought I was going to do really, really badly, but I ended up being fine and it always happens to me, but this time it was like a proper shock. Honestly, I really just did not expect it. Really didn't. And then the first English test was the Scottish set text analysis thing. Um, we did that on Tuesday, so that was also good, and we got that back today, and I got 20 out of 20, which, again, I was really not expecting. Even though the questions weren't as hard as others, I honestly did not expect to get 20 out of 20. I thought I was going to get 17, 16, maybe, because that's what I've been getting usually in them, but no, 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 I got 20 out of 20, which was so, so, so shocking again, because I just really didn't think it was going to happen, I feel like I'm quite good at them, but I didn't think I was just, I would get full marks on it, and it's the first one I've got full marks on, because we've been doing them for a couple of years now, so I honestly cannot believe that I have got full marks on that. I'm just so, so happy. And again, that kind of, it boosted my confidence a bit because going into the exam or the prelim or the January assessment, I now kind of know that everything's going to be good. But I am going to have to cut off here a little bit and, well, I've got a little bit of time. So I, in the English one that we did on Wednesday was a what's it called? Uh, an essay under time conditions, and we had an hour to do it, and I got 18 out of 20, which was also really unexpected, because just the week before, she said, well, she being the teacher, she said that she never gives 18 to 20, and then she did, and so I was so shocked by that, but I am gonna have to cut off here, so thank you all very much for watching this video. If you did like it, please leave a like, share with your friends, and subscribe for more of my content, not only in The Sims 4, but also in some other games too. I have a podcast, so please go and check that one out. It's called The Mini Pod, and I also do some little shorter episodes of the podcast as well so please go and check them out i also do some minecraft content with my friends every now and again please also go down into the description and check out all of my links i have a twitter and instagram and a tiktok so please go and give me a follow on all of them i really appreciate it if you did as well as joining my discord server which was linked down below because i'd love to get a little community going in there i think it would be so so great but thank you all again very much for watching this video and i will see you all tomorrow with another one Bye guys. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're.